Thanks so much, guys. Now, the next giant leap of mankind is even closer than we expected as the science fiction dream of living on another planet could become reality for South African quantum physicist Adriane Murray. Now, she's been shortlisted to go on a one-way trip to Mars, an initiative of the Mars One Project, and she's actually in studio with us. Adriana, it's so good to have you on the show this morning. Thanks for having now, me. Now, this is, this is an amazing thing. Out of 200,000 applicants, you were shortlisted to be part of a pool of 100. This is a massive project. Tell us more about the Mars One project and what are the goals? So um, as one of the other 100 pointed out the other day, it's almost been like a, a three-year job interview because wow. I first heard about the project back in 2013. So we're now sitting about the same time in 2016. Yeah. So I think, uh, but for me, one of the most beautiful parts of being involved is the state of uncertainty that I'm now living in where I may or may not spend the rest of my life on Earth. That, is, that, is, that blows my mind. <laughs> and that teaches me to appreciate every day. So uh, I think I've, got, I've gained a lot from this experience. I think a lot of people are sitting Already. at home and asking themselves, why would one apply for this project? It's a one-way trip to Mars. How could you one not? You might never come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad that I read that newspaper article that day and um, I, had, I didn't have a, a small piece of doubt yeah. in my mind that I would volunteer for this. Yeah for this mission and yeah. follow the process through as far as possible. So, so far, yeah, I'm amongst the final 100, which will be narrowed down to a group of 24 um, late this year or early yeah. next year. And then we will, the 24 of us, I'm saying we, yeah. thinking positive, will embark on 10 years of training before the departure in 2026. 10 years of training. Now, you've already been waiting three years just to get into this whole process. Why do you think you would be the perfect candidate for this project? What are the qualities that one needs? So um, I think, first of all, the people who volunteered are going to be an interesting group of self-selected people, people who've managed to last these three years dealing with uh, from media to close family and friends um, and their queries and their questions. Um, personally, I've also been doing a lot of outreach to promote science and space exploration in schools around the country. So just in case it's not me who gets to go to Mars, I hope to inspire you know, the next, gen next generation of South African explorers and scientists. Um, but I think I, I should definitely be the one to, amongst the 24 to be picked. Um, I'm a theoretical physicist. I've studied things from information security to biology um, at the Quantum Research Group in, at UKZN in Durban. So I can apply my knowledge of this fundamental theory we have of reality quantum mechanics to many aspects of um, life on yeah. Mars. Yeah. Um, for me, the most exciting part, and that would, I would be prepared to give up my life on yeah. Earth, would be to possibly participates in the discovery that life either once existed on Mars or possibly still does. And for me, this is one of the most profound possible discoveries or contributions of science to humanity, you know, confirming that we're not alone in the yeah. universe. And for me, uh, everything else pales when I imagine being part of this. Wow, Adriana, very quickly, what do you think you'll miss most about living on Earth? Of course, the people and the animals and the plants. Yeah. Um, the wine, I think we'll, we'll, if I'm there, we're going to make wine, but it's not going to be good. Yeah. Um, driving fast cars, because yeah. I think the Rovers move like at one exactly. meter. Per wow. Hour, so. um, Adriana Maria joining us on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. We'll definitely be chatting to her a, a bit more later on. It's the Mars One Project. It's a one-way trip to Mars. You ain't coming back, baby. But it's time to find out what else is happening on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Graham, what's the details?